I wanted to ask Chris about transmission lines. Mm -hmm. I remember years ago Bud Freed mm -hmm. with his uh, IMF or yeah, yeah, they yeah. were called. Irving M. Freed, yeah, yeah. Irving M. Freed, yeah. Yeah, so, Bud, yeah Bud was his nick, nickname, yeah, right? Yep, yeah. yep, Bud Freed. He was a good friend of Arnie's. Oh, was he? And he everything was transmission line. And yeah. what I remember about it was that it was a glorified port with a very long path so that at the output, the what came out of the port was in phase, and mm -hmm. that was that's right. about all I know. So maybe yeah, yeah. maybe help all of us understand. You yeah, know. yeah, there's there's uh, transmission line speakers haven't aren't nearly as as common as a sealed box or ported box or passive radiators. Um, th they are used, um, and the purported benefit of them is that the back wave of the speaker, so the the, the half of it that is enclosed in the box, is. Uh, goes through a labyrinth, a long, a long tube, and that energy isn't reflected back through the cone, or, and is is um, you know it, it can be a sealed tube, or it can it can have a, a terminus event at the end of it. Oh, and it, so it can be sealed. It, it can be sealed. Okay. Um, you know, folks like B and W did that sort of thing in their Nautilus-shaped speaker, where they had a sealed. Uh, transmission line type enclosure. The snail. Yeah, the, the yeah, exactly. Yeah. And th there are other um, kinds of of transmission lines. Some are straight tubes. Some are a tapered tube. They call them tapered quarter wave transmission lines. And a lot of these weren't that well understood for a lot of years. Uh, they, they were sort of the, the length was a quarter wave long of where you were trying to tune it to, but how much damping to put, how to how to model it wasn't really well understood. There's a guy named George Augsburger that was probably most well known for the Augsburger monitors that were these big soffit monitors that were mounted in recording studios using uh, TAD components. He actually released a piece of software that was a transmission line modeling software, I would say about 15 plus years ago, and had put a lot of math to actually how these things work. Um, but you know, one of the issues with transmission lines is that they are um, physically pretty large. I mean, to, to make a quarter wave long transmission line, if that if you're trying to tune down to 30 hertz or something, that's a that's very long. Yes. And th also, they can have issues with mid range leakage and resonances, where you you know have to really get the damping part right. And so, you know, some of them have resonances in the Two three hundred hertz range. So you look at some of the professional monitors from like PMC and others. I've seen some measurements where they they have some pretty substantial issues in, in that range. I mean, there's a cancellation from from that delayed energy there. And uh, but but done right, people people really love them because it's sort of halfway in between a sealed and ported box. Sometimes subjectively, where you, you do get reinforcement from the opening of the the transmission line if it's a vented transmission line. And, uh, but it also has a low Q, a, a gradual roll off at low, fr low, low frequencies, more so than what a ported box would be. So it's sort of, you know, done right can possibly be the best of both worlds. The, one of the problems with some of these uh, TQT type arrangements is that you have distortion that is, um, the resonances in the line actually cause distortion throughout the range of the woofers. They don't oh, load the woofer evenly. And, um, you know, folks like Andrew Jones have commented about that in a couple of videos or, or text posts as to why you don't see them as much mm -hmm. um, and why you see a vent for, the, for a given amount of air volume in the box, why, um, you know, vented enclosures tend to win. But I, I still think transmission lines are are cool and the freed speakers my, my high school physics teacher had and would just rave about them the ones with the kef b139 uh you know the, the freed ones and just you know loved them so i think done well they can still be um r really excellent but uh yeah aren't aren't really as as common yeah 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 yeah, I haven't, yeah. yeah after old bud you know passed away i haven't really seen much yeah you that. see um you know pmc probably has the most uh market Mm -hmm. with, with transmission lines now. You, you see a lot of single driver full range guys use uh, the tapered quarter wave transmission lines as a, as a common enclosure type. They're very cool looking. They're sort of a you know giant pyramid sort of looking speaker. So they're, they're very striking. Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, thanks.